Good morning, Pastor Nathan Decker with your hashtag Better Together devotion for today. And this week we're talking about those stories that we heard or that we grew up with in Western civilization and specifically within Christianity that, that show us and teach us some lessons. And, and at the same time, maybe we need to look at them again. And one of those stories is the story of Noah and the Ark. Now, uh, the way that traditionally this gets told is, is that the world had gone to hell in a handbasket. And when God looked over all of humanity, the only righteous person that God found was Noah. And so God gathered Noah up with Noah, Noah's family, his kinfolk, you know, Ham, Sham, Japheth, and their wives. And he was going to start all over with this family. Going to start all over with this family. And so they're going to flood the whole world, got all the animals two by two. The dinosaurs missed the boat, but that's another story. And it was okay, right? It was going to, God's going to start over. Well, there's a problem with this image of starting over. Because in the beginning of the story, we hear of Noah being a righteous man who follows God's will and God's understanding. And at the end of the story, when Noah gets off the boat, we encounter a family that is tremendously different. We encounter Noah being a drunkard. We, we encounter one of his sons taking advantage of his father in a drunken stupor. We, we, we find brokenness. And maybe, just maybe, instead of it being a story of God's, you know, just starting over and wiping out all of humanity, maybe it's an understanding of God trying to start over, and then in the end, realizing that it's going to be something that he has to work with, rather than trying to recreate the Garden of Eden and starting with one man and one woman and their family. Maybe at that point in the story, the character who God is becomes more of a recreator and more of a savior redeemer and less of God the destroyer, which is what we encounter him at the beginning of the story being. Maybe that's the reason that the rainbow pops up. Maybe that's the reason that when Noah curses his own son, God stays with them and blesses them and allows them to prosper. It's amazing when we reread the text, when we reread the stories of the Old Testament and the New Testament, that we find that some of the lessons and assumptions and understandings that we had about the text, well, they just aren't there in the text. We bring them in there. We, we bring something to the text and assume it to be true just because it's always been what we heard. Noah is a good story of this because Noah is less the story of, of God wiping out all of humanity and starting with a righteous man and much more the understanding of God trying to do a do-over and realizing he has to work with what he got, us, humanity. And thanks be to God that God loves us. Thanks be to God that God finds us better together. This is Pastor Nathan Decker encouraging you to reread the story of Noah and hear it again without those children's ears.